everybody. Welcome to day two of Crafting with Carolyn. I feel like a gangsta. Um, today we are uh, introducing you to a technique that's been around for centuries called paper marbling. And for all of you paper marbling purists, close your eyes because we are doing it kindergarten method. We are using Barbasol, and food coloring. Can't wait to show this one to you. It's super fun, kids love it, and the outcome is actually really cool. So let's do it. So as I mentioned, the material that you're gonna need, I like using a cookie sheet. I happen to have this round cookie sheet that I am using because I'm making some round discs for another project. Um, here's my paper that I'm using. Mine is newsprint. I love newsprint because it's very absorbent, but truly any paper works. And you guys need um, food coloring, so we've got that. And then some type of little tools with a sharp tip, like a toothpick, some pins. This could be kind of fun. So get a few tools, your Barbasol, cookie sheet, paper, and let's do this thing, it's so cool. Okay, step one, everybody's favorite step. You're gonna take a cookie sheet and you are going to cover your cookie sheet in Barbasol. <laughs> this one's not coming out very fast, but you wanna have about a quarter inch to a half an inch layer of Barbasol. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, and then you can use a little spreading tool to kind of even it out or a wooden spoon, but some tool to smooth out your Barbasol. Okay, now that you have your cookie sheet kind of leveled out, I kind of, you can see I've kind of filled it to the rim. Now you're just gonna take your food coloring and I swear there's no rhyme or reason. It's kind of even more fun if it's just kind of chaotic and scattered. So you're just gonna do a little bit of all the colors. I used to be really precise about this and I actually learned doing it with kids that it doesn't have to be perfect. It's so much more fun if it's just kind of a big ass, oh, big splatter. <laughs> Anyway, kind of do this and then I'll show you how to use the tools next. Hey, here we are with the food coloring and I'm just going to use my pick. And again, there's no right or wrong way to do this. But this is where you start getting those really cool patterns. Um, tradition I cut myself off. But traditionally with the um, paper marbling, they would use the whisker of a cat. I am not quite so dainty, but you can add some swirls. You can actually do some patterns and designs. This is totally up to you, but you just cannot do it wrong. Once you feel like you have messed with it enough, uh, you're just gonna take your piece of paper and you're just gonna put it on top of the shaving cream carefully and you're just going to press it on and you can see the image is starting to come through. This is what I like about newsprint. It's really absorbent. So all of that food coloring is coming through. Okay, now the time for the big reveal. I'm going to pull this off and then I'm gonna give it a quick rinse under the kitchen faucet and then I'm gonna put it on a paper towel. I'll show you how it looks. So here it is and uh, you just can leave it out to dry overnight and you can iron it to get wrinkles out if you want to. And then the thing that's really fun is you now have um, another round. You can just keep playing with this over and over and over. And I usually will make about 10 pulls from one round of Barbasol. Tag me if you guys do this. I'd love to see your results and have a fabulous, fabulous time. And for those of you wondering about Walter, he was right here underfoot the entire time. <laughs> Look how big he's getting. Hey, Walter, say hi to everyone. Oh, hi. <laughs> and um, I've made a couple more. So super fun. Kids love to do it. Enjoy.